Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be dyeing my hair with permanent markers. If you have not seen the previous video of me trying to dye my hair with regular markers, I'll leave a link to that video right up here for you so you can go watch that and see how that turned out. None of the color stuck and I did catch a few comments saying, permanent markers work, they work. Like try permanent markers, which I already had them purchased. I was planning on trying them, but I got some affirmation from you guys letting me know permanent markers do work. So I'm very, very excited to try this today. Fingers crossed it works because I'm ready for some color in my hair. I have high, high hopes. Don't diss me for the brand, okay? I tried to get Sharpies, they were out of Sharpies at my store. So I got two packs of these. So I've already opened up the permanent markers and taken out all of the cartridges that were inside. A week ago, I had a wisdom tooth extracted, so I am not able to blow the ink out of all of these cartridges. So I actually had my husband do it for me. Thank you to my husband for helping me out because I cannot do that right now. I just wanted to save all the cartridges so you guys could see that this is what they look like and I already went ahead and got the ink out of them. Let me change my shirt and put on some gloves and I'll be back so we can start mixing up these colors. These smell so incredibly strong. It's like taking my breath away. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see the pigments in there, but they are ready to go and they are strong. Like I said in my last video, I have this gallon of conditioner. I'm just gonna add a little bit to each pigment, a little bit at a time, mix it up and see what we get. And hopefully this conditioner takes away some of that really strong permanent marker smell. These colors look very promising and I feel about 70% sure that they're going to dye my hair. Now, I did buy two packs of the markers and I put less conditioner in there than I did with the Crayola markers, so I don't have as much dye. So I'm not gonna be doing the six different sections today. That's what I was planning on doing, but now seeing how much color I have mixed up, I don't have enough to do that, and I know I'm gonna run out of dye if I try to do that. So I'm just gonna do these front two sections, and we're gonna do ombre rainbow, and then I think I'm gonna do my tips all over my head with different rainbow pieces and just leave like the blonde and then do the tips rainbow and do these front two pieces rainbow. I wish I had enough dye to do all six sections, but I know for sure that's not gonna happen. I don't have enough dye. This pink color looks really, really good. So here's the pink color. Here's the orange. Here's the yellow, looks a little wonky. Here's the green, here's the blue, and here's the purple. All right, let's section this off. As you can see, I already have existing color in these front two portions. Okay, I think that this sectioning looks pretty good. I don't think we're gonna get any better than this. So like I said in my last video, I have not watched any videos of anybody else doing this. The only inkling I have this is gonna work is from you guys in my last video in the comment section saying to use permanent marker that it would work. So I'm gonna count on that and say that this is probably going to work. And like I said, I have not dyed my hair like this with Sharpies before, but in high school, I did draw on my hair all the time with Sharpies and it did work. I remember one time I drew a coontail on my hair with Sharpies and it would not come out. I thought it would like wash out pretty easily. No, that green and black coontail was in my hair for a very, very long time and it was not coming out. I feel like this looks so promising. I hope you guys are excited because this looks pretty freaking good. This looks so much better than the other markers we used. This definitely smells bad, so. Ew, this blue looks green. All right, let's put this purple on here. I'm gonna run these colors together like I would do with normal dye. Oh my gosh, I really hope this works because I'm really dying for some color in my hair. I feel so much more confident about this, you guys. Oh my gosh. This pink shade is so pretty. I didn't realize the cartridges were gonna be so small in the permanent markers versus the Crayola markers. This orange is really pretty too. It's very deep and pigmented. Everybody have your fingers crossed. I'm not sure if the yellow is gonna work. That's the only color I'm a little bit iffy on and I'm not sure if it's gonna stain the hair, but I'm pretty sure all these other shades will stay. This green looks a little poopy. All right, let's rub these together again and kind of diffuse the lines. All right, now we're just going to put another foil over the top of this. Yay, let's do the tips. I have not had rainbow hair that's like this before, so this is also a different pattern than what I've done in the past. 
which is pretty exciting. So let's do this front part pink. I think this is gonna work. <laughs> I just, you know, I just think it's gonna work, which is so exciting. I hope it looks cute. If all the other colors are ugly, at least this pink shade will be popping. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like real excited, you guys. I need to like, you know, bring myself back down to reality because I do not wanna be disappointed again. You know, last time I was all about this. I was all gung-ho, I was so excited. And it literally did absolutely nothing. So I don't want to do that to myself again and get really excited and it not even work. But you guys said it did in the comments, which is I think what's really making me optimistic is everybody in the comments being like permanent markers work. And I was like, oh. And having that experience in high school of me making a coontail and it not coming out of my hair. I wasn't planning on doing rainbow like this. I was just gonna do like random pieces, but I think that this is gonna be pretty cute, sticking with the rainbow. I hope the yellow sticks. That's another thing. Like I said in my last video, I thought some of the colors would stay and some of them wouldn't, and literally none of them stayed. I feel like that's actually a pretty strong possibility this time around. Like some of these colors really might not stay like the yellow. This is gonna be so cute if it works. Hello? What if this works and it like never comes out? Oh God, that would suck. Ooh, I'm looking kind of cool. Ooh, the blonde with the blue tips. Kind of an ice queen look. I'm digging it. Also, if you like my makeup today, I do have a makeup video on it. I'll leave a link to the video up there in the corner. When my husband was getting all of the ink out of these cartridges, um, he got it like on his face and on his glasses and it like stained everything. That's a good sign that it's going to work. I also had an ink cartridge explode on me and my hands are still stained blue and I've washed them and it will not come off. So, all right, we've got the color applied. It's looking cute. Let's hope this works because it's gonna be adorable. I'm gonna let this sit for like an hour and then rinse it in cold water and I'll come back and show you what the results look like. You guys, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does something this time, okay? Hopefully. I'll see you guys in around an hour. Are you guys ready to see my hair? Three, two, one. Oh shit. I am beyond happy right now. Oh my gosh. I am so stoked that this worked. I mean, all of the colors showed up. Like, look how cute this is. I love it. The only thing that did not come out 100% perfect is where I had the blue up here. I had put like orange over it and the orange isn't very visible in this area, but I still think it looks so cute. I, I'm like my mind, I can't even process right now that this worked. Yes, and I feel cool as hell with some color back in my hair. I'm feeling like a bad beach. <laughs> I need to go. This is too much, it's too much. I'm too excited, I'm too hyper. I'm too ecstatic and elate about my hair and that it turned out and it worked well. Permanent markers will dye your hair and they will also dye everything else it touches. My counter is stained pink, my sink is stained pink, my coloring bowls are stained and I scrub them, I can't get the color out. My hands have color on them and are stained. Like my scalp is stained, my forehead, like everything this touches, it's gonna stain. So just keep that in mind and be careful if you're gonna try this at home. I am just like so thoroughly impressed <laughs> that this worked and I think it looks so cool with my makeup. So exciting. I'm, I'm so curious to see how long this is gonna last for, how many washes, if it's like never gonna come out, cause that would be my look. Like this will never come out of my hair. But I'm just very, very happy that it worked and it's not a disappointment. And the colors all turned out vibrant and really pretty. Like I love how all the shades turned out. I think it's so cute. Let me turn around and show you the back. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad this was not disappointing like the other one. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Goodbye. I